guys and welcome back to another video it is snow here and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to live stream with obs so this is like a part two of the video that i did before and the video that i did before is basically like downloading it and the basics of obs which i'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can go check it out um so i'm going to be showing you how to live stream on youtube with obs this is a hugely requested video because during my live streams, a bunch of you guys have like, how do you live stream with OBS? So I'm like, okay, let me show you guys. So let's get started. So this is basically where you can download it, stuff like that. Now let's get into the real stuff. So this is what OBS looks like when you first basically open it. And all you have to do is press here, scene, and you can name it like YouTube. There you go. There you have a new scene. So you usually have a mic and you usually have a desktop audio so desktop audio is like when you have like a playlist on youtube and you want to play some music you just turn this on and play the playlist and if you want to talk in the live stream this is what you use to talk um you can also add some free music of your own which i'll show you how to do that right now you can go on media source you can name it music and you can browse for your music now if we go to music best of trap nation let's say so then it will just automatically start playing and i think that's super super cool and you can adjust the volume and stuff like that which is incredibly useful because if you're talking and you don't want the music to be louder than you this is a huge huge tool now also if you would like to put like an, a background on the screen this is what i usually use um for my backgrounds i usually like save images for backgrounds for myself and i go on to here now these are a bunch of backgrounds that i usually save and have now let's just use the snow background that i have so all you have to do is just make it bigger and i think this is a super nice background because it like shows you everything and it also has a nice color to it you know what i mean so this is the hard tricky part now i honestly don't know how to fix this part but i somehow fixed it like a couple months ago so if you want to live stream with a window which is like what i use i used to use here i'll show you guys what i used to use i used to use display capture and that wasn't as uh, nice because it just like it was like this and you had to like pull it up to show what was actually going on and it was really really confusing so i stopped using that and i somehow figured out a way to use window capture which is basically considered your screen and what you're going to do is you're going to go on to, let's see here, Chrome, Open Broadcast Software. And this is not display capture because you can zoom in and out of what you're doing. So it's really not really the same. And then you can just place it in the middle. So let's say if we were to go back onto our windows and we were to open, hmm, let's say YouTube. It would be like this. And then on the software, it would be YouTube as well. So you can see how handy that is because it is just showing you exactly what you need. And yeah, and this is how people usually do the giveaways. Now, a lot of questions are concerning my, uh, basically, how I do the um, scroll text on the screen. All right, guys, now I usually get a lot of questions on how uh, the text on my screen scrolls. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today because uh, I just want to show you it. Which, all right, now what you usually do is just write, like, next giveaway in, let's say, two subs. Okay. Now all I have to do is write that on the screen, and you can choose a certain font. So I'm just going to scroll through randomly, and apparently this is the font that I'm going to use. So as you can see, it is right over here, and if you want to put it on your screen, like this, then all you have to do is just put a bunch of spaces like that, and it will be on your screen. Now, you can also change the color of it, which you go down here, and you can choose blue, for example, and that's a really nice color, so I'm going to keep that. Now here comes the tricky part, the scroll part. So all, I have to do, all you have to do is right click and press on filters, then you press the add button, and you go on to scroll, and you just change the horizontal speed. So if you want it to go this way... Or you can want it to go down, then up, you know.
you can choose either way for it to go and we, we don't want it to have this so we're just gonna go like that we're just gonna make it a little bit faster so as you can see it is scrolling across the screen as you guys can see and everyone can know the next giveaway and stuff so i think this is really handy and i hope you guys learned how to live stream with obs oh and one last thing to be able to live stream with obs you have to go onto your youtube thing i'll just show you a quick preview guys okay so once you go onto creator studio and you go on to live streaming and you go down now I'm not going to show you my whole thing but there's this thing called a server URL and it has like a username kind of and a password so all you have to do is go to settings over here and you're going to go to stream so you're going to go to custom streaming server because it doesn't the other streaming is Twitch, which we don't use. And you just copy and paste your URL and your stream key, and then you press apply, then OK. Then it, you can start streaming as much as you want. All you have to do is press start streaming right here, and I'm not going to press that because I don't want to start streaming right now. But that's all you have to do, and it's really super easy to do. And I hope you guys learned so, so much from this video, and I hope this benefited you and i look forward to watching your streams have a great day guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment bye